Sometimes before I walk on stage, my girlfriend may say, have a good show, break a leg. This is what she said to me a few weeks ago, right before I walked on stage. She goes, hey, you ever worry about getting shot when you're out there? I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? This is a little impression I like to call anybody who ever wins an Oscar at the Academy Awards and their stupid acceptance speech. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that I won. Uh, I'm so nervous. I'd like to start off by thanking God for making this all possible. And I'd like to thank my beautiful wife for standing by me for all those years. Thanks, honey, we did it. <laughs> and I'd, I'd, my time's going, oh, I just can't believe I won. What do you mean you can't believe you won? You had an aisle seat. <laughs> no, I, that's it. I mean, nobody's ever seen this at the Academy Awards. This year, the winner is, it's Daniel Tosh. My time's already up. I was in the back. Let me just do my little speech. I'd uh, like to start off by thanking L. Ron Hubbard for making this all possible. I'd like to thank my beautiful wife for standing by me for all those years. I'd like to thank my girlfriend for keeping everything on the down low. I'd like to send a shout out to Tamika, Rashonda, Rochelle, Michelle, and Amy Ray. Hey, thanks a lot, y'all. They have a show on MTV that I can't stand. Cribs. You ever watch Cribs? Yeah, that show should be called Wanna Feel Like a Failure? <laughs> Little Bow Wow has an S series. That's not right. I'll tell you what, though. If I ever get really famous, I promise you the greatest Cribs episode of all time. Oh, you can trust me on this one. I'm going to hire Universal Studios to come over to my house, build an extension of caves and corridors that go from my bedroom to the bathroom. That way, every night when I wake up to go pee, the adventure begins. <laughs> so I wake up, right? I'm like scared and nervous and I have to go and the camera crew's following me and I'm like, ooh, and I hire Vin Diesel to hide and jump out and scare me and sword fight me. And he's like, prepare to die. And I'm like, calm down, you over actor. I'm paying you to lose. And he's like, oh. And then I kill him and there's a princess tied up and she's like, thank you, I've been here for so long. I'm like, no time for talk, you got a tinkle, let's run. We start going, the walls start closing in. Yeah, there's doors going down and rocks everywhere. And we have to go across an old rope bridge, but halfway across the rope bridge, the bottom one sets on fire and it snaps and she falls, but I got her with one arm. Yeah, I can feel her slipping, but she's looking up at me going, I'll never stop loving you. Close up on my eyes and a close up on her eyes and a close up on my eyes, close, like, and then she falls. Like, and I'm like, why? Why? And I snap out of that. I got to pee like a racehorse. Back up onto the rope. I get to the bathroom. I pull my pajamas down because I sit down and pee like a girl when I'm at my house. It's my house. I feel more comfortable that way. Don't judge me. The Bible says not to. But as soon as I sit down, a hologram of my dad pops up. And he's like, Daniel, this is your father. Make sure you look behind the shower curtain before you. Too late. A dragon comes from behind the shower curtain. Yeah, it's going to spray me with fire. But I rip the medicine cabinet off right. Mir, ching, ching, kills the dragon. Then I go to the bathroom, and I go back to bed. No one even knows I added these extensions onto my house. It's top secret. My maid comes running in. Daniel, Daniel, what was all that ruckus? And I'm like, oh, Helga, it was nothing. Now get back to your quarters. And she's like, hmm. Then I roll over and stare at the camera crew, and I go, shh. <laughs> and then the camera goes back onto Vin Diesel's body, close up on his face. And then his eyes open. Oh. Did, did you get chills? Yeah. Let's see P. Diddy top that crib. Am I the only person that hopes David Beckham has sex with Brad Pitt? I don't know who's in charge of casting in Hollywood, but make it happen before one of them's out of their prime. Can you imagine those two men together making love? Oh. If there's a man in here that's junk, doesn't wiggle just a little bit, at the thought of those two men together. This has nothing to do with your homophobic sexual preference. At that level, it's art, you monkey, okay? You should be honored. 
that you share the same restroom with those Greek gods. Can you imagine if they had a child? Oh. The f was that Simba? What the fuck, was that Simba? That's the Beckham Pit kid? That's Pit cum? The most beautiful child the world has ever seen? Picture baby Jesus with better abs. That's a good looking baby. If they had a baby Abercrombie store, they'd hire him to work the front door, right? Just stand there, shirtless, propped up. He can't stand yet. Just leaning against the wall. Big poster, big poster of himself. Just standing there, little tight pampers. And you'd walk in and you'd be like, I don't want to say this, but I want to fuck that baby. Oh man, do I want to fuck that baby. If I had three wishes, two of them be to fuck that baby, and one would be for more wishes. Well, you can't do that. Then I want to fuck the baby a third time. I would like to use all three wishes banging that baby. Go ahead, dumb people. Be offended by a joke that doesn't have a plausible premise. Well, I'd love to read your email. I felt you went over the line a bit when you theoretically wanted to fornicate with a mythical child. <laughs> Gave a commencement speech recently at a high school, and that didn't go well at all. <laughs> a bunch of high school kids, parents that are proud of them, and I'm belittling the entire thing. And the administration got really upset with me. They're like, oh, uh, we didn't know you weren't gonna take it seriously. Uh, to which I replied, really? You thought this was where I was gonna get serious? High school, how did you do it? <laughs> no, I refused to give that generic speech. As I look out here, I see future lawyers and doctors. I gave the real speech. There's felons here. <laughs> Some of you will die in a DUI accident tonight. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Explain to me why a dose of reality before community college is a bad thing. Because I certainly don't need to pander to the 1%. They don't need my little pep rally. They're gonna be just fine. <laughs> Nobody's been a pile of shit their entire life and then turned it around because of the commencement address. <laughs> Excuse me? No. no, no, it just clicked. So you're saying I can be anything? <laughs> oh yeah, that sounds way better than what I was gonna do. <laughs> I like this guy. Don't you love it when people in school are like, I'm a bad test taker. You mean you're stupid. <laughs> oh, you struggle with that part where we find out what you know? <laughs> oh. No, no, I can totally relate. See, because I'm a brilliant painter, minus my god-awful brush strokes. <laughs> oh, how the masterpieces crystal up here, but once paint hits canvas, I develop Parkinson's. <laughs> I apologize if there's a Parkinson's painter here this evening. <laughs> I assume your best work is in the AM. Probably gets a bit abstract by noon. Hang in there, it gets worse. <laughs>